Hey everybody, uh, I just want to take a minute to put together this quick video requested by a student. Um, this is for a geometric sequence where you have two of the terms, for example, the third term and the sixth term, and you're asked to figure out what R is because you can't just simply divide the two because uh, there's several steps in between. Okay, so I'm going to show you a way to do this using the formulas. You have an equation which is that un equals u1 times r to the n minus 1. So that will work for any term. So I can use that for, for example, the third term. Okay, so I'm going to, for the third term, I'm going to say the third term, which would be u3, right? But instead of u3, I'm going to put down 10. So 10 equals the first term, which I don't know what it is, times r, which I don't know what that is, to the n minus 1. But because this is the third term, then it'll be 3 minus 1. All right. Now, I can do the same thing here with the sixth term. Okay. So I'm going to do the sixth term is 49.18, which is equal to u1 times r, which still I don't know what that is, but now it's n minus 1, and this n is the sixth term, so it'll be 6 minus 1. Okay, now when I simplify these, I want you to see that what I get is 49.18 equals u1 r to the fifth, and then this one over here, I get 10 equals u1 r squared. Now, what we're going to do here is, well, if this is equal to this, and this is equal to this, then what that means is this 10 divided by the 49.18 should be equal to u1 r squared divided by u1 r to the fifth, right? Because these two things are the same, and these two things are the same. So if I divide each side, Basically, I'm dividing both sides by the same thing. Now, I did say this one divided by that one, but because the power is bigger over here, the fifth power, I'm actually going to do it the other way. I'm going to divide this side, the 49.18. I'm going to divide by 10. And then the other side, u1 r to the fifth, I'm going to divide by the u1 r squared. Okay, and because 10 and u1 r squared are the same thing, then I just divide both sides by the same thing, and that's allowed according to our normal algebraic process. Okay, so now once I divide, I'm going to do 49.18, and you could use your calculator at this point if you want, but I'm going to have 4.918 is equal to, now notice that the u1s cancel out, and then r fifth divided by r squared, we get to subtract the exponents there, so I have r to the third power. At this point, you can in solve it, you can do the cube root, you can do whatever you want, and I'm going to get r equals 1.7. All right, so there you go. That's all you got to do. So let me know if there's any questions.